Well, I'm Kenny Lowry, and today we're going to take a look at what we call the Shimmering Walk Bowl Fountain. Now, you'll see that we use this bowl in a couple of different configurations on the website, so you might recognize this bowl used elsewhere. Uh, this particular bowl has our custom finish on it, although this is available with a, with a standard finish on it, or no finish at all. So let us know what you're uh, interested in. But this custom finish is very beautiful. It's a beautiful color mixture of kind of a copper, green, a little bit of gold. I mean, it's just a really beautiful color. Uh, we have it set on this gray-black base. Um, it's kind of black here, gray on top. Now this is one of those fountains that you will need to probably shim to level it on your end because you're going to have to get it almost perfectly level. Um, we have the water you see kind of dropping off here once in a while. And when that drops down, if it hits this base, it's going to cause it to splash a little. A couple things you can do. Turn your flow of water down. If you turn that flow of water down, you'll lose this, you'll lose this water falling there hitting that base. It's not splashing a whole lot, but it is splashing some. But if you turn that flow of water down, you can get it to where it won't splash at all. So those are kind of things you'll need to do on your end. You want to get it level so that this happens uh, just about all the way around the jar or around the bowl. You'll get that water kind of falling out there. So leveling up with shims and things like that on the end is what you do. Now, we call this a shimmering bowl. Uh, you can't see it probably in the video, but there's waves coming off of this. So it's coming over in waves, which is kind of a neat effect. With lighting inside of this bowl at night, that's going to catch all that wave motion in there. It's going to be really, really, really beautiful at night with that, uh, with that light in there. Lighting up that plume of water, catching that shimmering water that goes across there. If you have something for that reflective light to shine onto, or a tree over it, or a, a wall behind it, something like that, you're going to catch all that motion. There'll be all kinds of reflective motion going on there. Right now, I'll grab the camera and show you up close. Uh, this is a, the biggest walk bowl that we have. You can see it has a lot of open water there for people that are wanting that. I think this fountain would be good beside a sitting area or somewhere you can see down in, the, in there. I think that would be really nice, especially at nighttime. That's just going to be such a great effect at night. And hopefully you can see that color on there. Now this is that custom color. We're not going to do a whole lot of this custom color. It's just too time-consuming to do, uh, so it's going to be available in limited supply on this custom color. The water still appears a little green here because we had a, a green uh, bowl on here that still had dye in it, so it washed out some of that green dye. Uh, it was a brand new bowl, so it washed out, so the water still kind of got a green tint to it. Uh, if it didn't have that, you would see that coppery color all the way down in there. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach me at 540-948-2239 or email me, Kenny, at southerngraceva.com.